Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to learn how to make palmet for the windows and add blinds to it. So this was a video requested from one of our subscribers Mr. Santaram. So he asked me over Instagram to make a tutorial on how to make a palmet. Uh, to do this I have considered a simple room okay this one and placed some furniture in it like this table chair laptop and a study table with some painting on the wall so now let's get started let's start with placing some window here you can go to this one select any window of your choice under apertures so you can find this many windows select any one of your choice so i have already selected this one and i'm going to just position active building opening so your window gets placed if you want more than two windows just drop like this and your window gets placed if you want to increase the length of the window select this one and in the height you can increase it manually like this okay Let's increase the height of both the windows and bring it bit down. Let's make it 0.7 meters or maybe 0.5 meters. Okay, fine. So I have placed the windows. Now I'm going to make a palmet for this one. I don't have any AutoCAD file here. So I'm going to use the reference grid. Draw reference grid. Select the first point second point and extend it this is how you draw the reference grid now this is of 1 meter but i want my palmet to be small maybe 150 mm or 100 mm so i'll i will make it as 0.15 meters okay and even on the y axis 0.15 meters yes okay so for measurements my reference grid is ready and I'm going to draw the palmet using this objects draw extrusion body. Okay, so I know. Uh, so basically, the palmet will be uh, like this, covering this window, like a uh, C shaped. Okay, so I'm going to draw the extrusion body as C shaped itself. So I'm going to select the first point, second point, then third point somewhere here. Okay, fourth point here follow back the steps okay same way first second third and fourth and close polygon if you want to edit this polygon use this tool okay click this one and then you can edit the polygon easily so here is the extrusion volume i have drawn Okay, the length of this one is still 1 meter, so I'm going to change it to 0.15. Okay, then go to the side views and bring this palmet down. So I'm going to just adjust the level of the palmet. Okay, you can do it as per the sectional drawings. So this is the palmet, and so this is our palmet. We shall apply some texture to it okay just select the texture and select any color or texture and replace it you can make it fully black also or fully white also right so let it be gray itself so this is it uh, this is how you make palmet for the windows you can increase the height of this one also you just need to make the changes here so it only depends upon your sectional details about the palmet height so make the changes accordingly so sandaram i hope i have um, i have cleared your doubts of making a palmet so this is a palmet now the second thing is we are going to add blinds to this windows how we are going to do it is very interesting there are two steps to do it first one is go to the 3d warehouse and select some blinds okay you can get various models like this okay you can get various models like this select any one of this one and same way as you place any other 3d model place this one the other method is really interesting which i personally like 
and and now let's go and check it out for that one we need to go to the manufacturer okay and here you can see in the search for manufacturer this luminaire lamp and daylighting system is selected so uncheck this lamp and luminaire okay so now you have only daylighting system and you have here six brands okay which are for daylighting system suppose this one okay then this one s man hella you can see this is for blinds you can see the blinds here okay then this is indu light this is for skylight effects you can see the text you can see this uh, different options of skylight effects then is lamellux okay this one is also for daylighting system and this is vaima uh this is for again blind so we have so here we have two options one is hella and one is one is varema so so now what you need to do is either hella or varema go to their website and download the dialogs plugins it is available on their website so you can easily go there and download it once you download and install the plugins then you will be able to access this daylighting systems so after installing it you can go here select so i have already got the hella plugins with me and here i have this two different two different blinds so i can select any one of this one okay let me select this one. select any one of the hella plugin okay as per the requirement and just drag and drop it like this and here are your blinds so other way interesting feature of this one is when you select this blinds you have an option here layer configuration okay you can make it uh, user defined okay you can make it even user defined that is if you want a single glazing one double glazing one or any other one no glass so basically this one you will be requiring when you are making a daylighting calculation using some uh, daylighting systems like this so you can make the changes here for the layer configuration is and other thing and another interesting feature here is the position of the blind so if you want to move it up you can use this tool you can use this one and move it up or down so you see here when i'm moving up it's the blinds are going up and you know you can adjust the position of the blinds using this one even this one let's try it okay we can make it more up or make it more down or keep it fully covered so this is how you apply blinds to the windows let's add some lights and let's add some lights and make some calculation and see our windows after the calculation so i have placed my lights here basic down lights calculation objects entire project so the calculation is so the calculation is completed and you can see my palmet with the windows we will export this one we will export this one export save new view go to ray tracer increase the resolution and start ray tracing it so this looks cool so i have a very nice palmet with the blinds on it and my window looks really perfect it has nice reflective reflection factor so this is guys this is how you make a palmet and add blinds to the window if you like this video or you learn something new from it please do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you